So guys, I've got myself a mission. Yesterday I went out and bought some uh, hardware cloth for the chicken run. I'm doing bottom half in hardware cloth. I'll show you where I'm, what I'm doing. And my, my main mission is to make a, a fence stretcher. It will really help me, but I'll show you what's happening here. Oh, incidentally, sunflower challenge update. Pelham Val's uh, Harlequins are coming, and I think there's a firecracker down there. I can see it, yeah. I think just there. But yeah, I'm doing this hard work for front bottom. I'm going to fix, because these are metal posts, I've got to drill and put some self tappers in. I'll do a small drill hole and put self tappers in. The problem I've got here is it runs at different levels, so I've had to cut it off because this stuff won't good well it'd kink if you know what i mean i'm sure a chicken wire would have stretched what we're on here before was tennic court wire you know the folded wire stuff but the kids squashed it all down i used to have ducks in here at one time but they were stolen <laughs> so what i'm doing i'm going this far up with this this is just for foxes we've got lots of foxes i mean that's another reason i close that off but I'm going this far up with this and then I'm going up to the top of chicken wire. I might even end up capping it, but I've got a load of chicken wire. It's larger. It's a larger um, gap. It's not 12 mil, half inch. It's bigger than that, but it was free anyway. And I paid 100 bucks for this for 25 meters, which here is, I think, what did they say it were? I measured it out. I think it's, I think it's about 15 or 13 so I can't do it twice but that'll always come in handy for other stuff I've got a I want to make a little quail tractor because I've got them 16 birds I want to get them out soon and I, do, I can't put them in with big birds because big birds will kill them but anyway what I've got to do is make a stretcher and I'll get on with that and I'll show you and hopefully I'll, I'll show you what the idea is and then I'll show you how it works I'm not going to show you me making it per se well, the plan is just a piece of wood and put some hooks into it. There's a piece of wood. Put some hooks into it and then something, a cord, a rope, and then I'm going to pull it using my ratchet straps. Yeah, so that'll just pull, so I can pull it even and can attach my rap, ratchet strap to another fence post, maybe next doors, well, our border, um, <laughs> the border between Switzerland and England. Um, and then I can ratchet it and pull that straight. Like I was saying before, problem with that um, cage is it, that runs level and then it drops off down here. So I couldn't pull it round the corner because it had kink here underneath because it changed but it just means I'll have to do it in separate pieces and bottom as well bottom runs level but that runs down at an angle so I'll have to do three separate pieces and fix it at post and I'll, stre I'll stretch the wire it's doing exactly the same thing and then I'll put these clips on I've just I remembered I had these in garage they've been in garage for 10 years so I'll get on with it and show you what I come up with. And that's basically that, all my hooks facing one way. I might have to nip a bit off them, just so that I can get it onto the fence. Just nip tips off them. Or bend them out a little bit, and we'll have a look. Uh, these, this is where it possibly can fail, but I don't want to put loads of pressure on it. I just want to hold it and stretch it in, it and hold it in position. These are what I've put in here. It could be altered if I need to, even to the point where I could just tie the cord around the wood, which might have been a better idea, but I've done it like this, see how it goes. But like I say, it's only got to hold it. I put the openings on them, by the way, on outside, so that if it does pull them open a little bit, it's not likely to slip off. So, that should do it. I did have to bend them a little bit, but that should get me on. 
as I say, I don't want to go like, I'm not putting tons of pressure on, but I, I need it to pull tight. There's nothing worse than a wiggly fence. That's not too bad because I pulled it tight with these uh, wire ties. I've got to snip it out of here. I did try taking that off, but the screw heads are knackered and well, I could drill it out, but I'm going to cut it out as I've got to put it on in two pieces anyway, it doesn't really matter. But what I will do now is try and tighten it and I'll pull off that fence post there. And I should be able to pull that a little bit tighter. So, made a quick change. <laughs> Bigger oaks. Um, yeah, they'll be difficult to keep in. Wanted to twist and pull out, so these should work better. And then, this is all screwed up here, by the way. So, all I've got to do is pull this tight. It's not too bad, but this is the proof in the pudding for when I do that long stretch. Yeah? Give me a drift. Now, just while we're here, I will say, this is a second pair of hands. I've done this on my own, so I wouldn't have been able to do it without making this. So I don't know how much I got of that, but camera memory card said full. I thought I'd deleted enough, but I might have only deleted one picture instead of an event. But that's worked. Hopefully, I did, well, I did break one square, but I'll just have to make sure I get it hooked up in a straight line. But that's pretty good. And I will have the string. Underneath here, there's hooks and got a string cable. I'll put a cable along there, run it through the moats, and then I'll tie to that. Before it had this, or oh, it's got this on, this angle, and it would tie to that, but there's also hooks. Oh, ties at the bottom. I don't think you can see them. So if I can run the cable through that, and again, wire, wrap it to it with wire, and I should be all right, but that works. I'm gonna screw that up, and then I'm gonna try and stretch this log bit. See how we go there. Got to get round me uh, raspberries. They're almost finished. I will sacrifice some raspberries. Seems the bees like the corn as much as me. That would have been the kink with the angle change. I've got to stretch it now across there, connect it to that post right at the bottom, and then again, cut a new piece. So that's that. I ain't got much more to pull on that, but it's pretty tight. Pulling a bit tighter over the top, I'm not quite in the middle. But it should be alright because when I put my wires on, and again I'll clip, I'll pull them straight, tight, using the same method, and uh, 
should be good to go. It's not bad. So guys, that's bottom done. Um, stretcher worked pretty good. I've got them pretty straight. I've got to put cables on. I mean, two minds have to put that on. But what I have discovered is the posts actually come slightly forward from the concrete. So unless I can get that cable really tight, then it's going to be a little bit of a problem, I think. And the other choice would be fix the cable on inside, put some eyes through, and then pull and and then tighten me fence to that because it's just got to be fo well, it's got to be fox proof. I mean, there it's not it's not a, a great massive problem because I can wire to that if I want to. Yeah, it's whether I keep that or not. I left it on rather than rip it off. But this is the size of chicken on from that gate here. And again, it can be separated into two. There is a another chicken door behind that stuff there. Like that one. Well, there's no there's no door, top thing on it like that, but and it could be separated into two, which would mean I could run them on one and let them eat everything that grows on it for a couple of weeks and then move them on to the next one or vice versa but I've got a friend with some chicken eggs he says I can have uh oh well give me some they've got two breeds they've got some bantams I don't know what breed they are but and they've got some larger chickens as long as I hatch them together they should be all right brought up together but I've got to do top bit in chicken wire and uh, I'm gonna get that bottom cable on first but that's I'm done for today I've sweated I've needed about three blood transfusions even wearing gloves <laughs> I could have done with a blood transfusion. So if you like chicken, chicken fence stretches, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And drop a comment in. Remember, it's always nice to be nice. Shane.